this is Mikva Clinic and today I will uh, suggest you uh, reference books which you, can, which you can use in order to master on history taking and physical examination. I will suggest you two standard books that commonly used by new clinical year students so that they can get adequate knowledge on structure of history and with the uh, steps they should use while doing physical examinations. One thing that you need to know is always in order to master on history and physical exams you should know that these skills are not a one-time reading rather it is a lifelong process or a lifelong studying through a continuous practicing through a continuous reading through experience you will develop those skills so you are always in a continuous learning of uh, patient clerking so you need to be aware of that but these books will provide you with the initial knowledge so with the basic knowledge uh, of uh, those basic things which are history taking and physical examination but you can master on those things or you can advance on these skills through a continuous practicing and reading um, for new clinical year students uh, which is either medical students or nursing students or clean, uh, clinical pharmacy students when they try to approach a patient they need to have a basic knowledge or they need to have a knowledge on the structure of history on the skills of or on the steps they should follow while doing physical examination so in order to be equipped with this knowledge you can read either of these two books the first one is Bates guide for history taking and physical examination this book is it is a u.s origin book because the book is edited in by physicians from united states and it is used as a standard book for teaching students in u.s in addition to that in our country is also used as a standard book for teaching students especially new clinical year students uh, for history taking and physical examination and the book has a total of 1063 pages organized in three units the first unit uh, deals with the foundation of patient assessment which is with the structures of history and additionally with ethical considerations with and the second unit focus on system-wise approach to physical examination so it will elaborate each system physical examination their steps and their skills sometimes it explains pathologies common pathologies or abnormalities that we may get on during our physical examination so the second unit focused on the physical examination in general the third unit focus on special population when we approach a patient in pediatric age group then the history taking has slight modifications and it's the same is true for pregnant women the same is true for elderly population so it will equip us with those uh, different things that we encounter on different group of our special group of population and the book chief editors are Lynn Bakley who is an internist and Peter Zilagi is a pediatrician professor of pediatrics so these are the two chief editors but different uh, physicians from different departments are involved in the in editing this uh, standard book the second book i want to suggest to you is hutchison clinical method hutchison's clinical method it is named after the first author of the book sir robert hutchison he was a physician at royal london hospital he is involved in the first 13 editions of the book uh, this book is uk origin which means the book is edited by physicians from United Kingdom, especially uh, physicians from Royal London Hospital. The latest edition of this book has a total of 485 pages. This book is organized in uh, four sections. The first section deals with, uh, with history taking, with uh, approaching to or how to discuss with differential diagnosis and ethical considerations. The second section deals with special group of population like the pediatrics, geriatrics, 
for you and women, adolescents, and the like. The third section deals with systemized physical examination. And the last one deals with clinical specialties like dermatology, ophthalmology, ENT, and other specialties. And it will provide you with the necessary information on tracking a patient in these specialties. So these are the two standard books which are commonly used by uh, medical students and I also used these books during uh, my clinical year study and I also prepared those series of uh, videos based on these two books. So one, one thing that you should know is these two books simply will provide you with a guideline or the outline of history taking but in order to master on history taking and physical examination always you should practice you should be in a continuous practice the more you practice the more you will become perfect you shouldn't be shy rather you should be eager to practice and you can make a mistake so the more you make a mistake, then the more you will become perfect. You need to read these two books to, to, to have or to know the basic steps on history taking, the basic steps of each system examination. Then you will go and you will see someone doing those examinations or you may see someone taking the history. So once you see, the next step is doing. So you will see, you will do you will see you will usually the problem is medical students prefers to always see um, they are not eager to do we need to be eager to do because practice makes perfect it's not about memorizing all the things on these two books but you can use them as a guide in order to practice those skills so from these two books which one is the most preferred one it depends on your score, it depends on the suggestion of your senior. So, based on the senior suggestion, you can read either of them. If you have time, you can also read both of them. But usually, internists prefer Hutchison, but it depends on the school and the senior. Thank you. Our session on history taking is over.